hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl daisy budgets and over here on my channel i do savings challenges sinking funds updates cash stuffings a little bit of everything so if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in make sure to like comment and subscribe and smash that notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a new video okay so in today's video we are going to be doing a sinking funds update i'm not going to go through the whole process where i like go through every single envelope and count the cash i already did my sinking funds update um prior to filming this video so it's already completed i'm just going to give you an overview but before we get into that i know you guys are wondering where i've been so i want to give you a little bit of a life update So I did take a break and I know you guys are wondering why I took a break so abruptly and honestly speaking I was completely burnt out I just I was so burnt out um, I had anxiety that was really bad I suffered from anxiety and depression for most of my life but um, it's been such a long time since I felt any kind of symptoms of anxiety that when I was starting to feel the symptoms of anxiety I was in complete denial it was interrupting my sleep pattern like there would be times where i would wake up at two o'clock in the morning and be unable to go to sleep i was panicked all i could think about was all the work that i had to do the orders that needed to go out by a certain time and that pretty much consumed most of my days like i was always on go 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 and super stressed out it got to the point where I was like eating my feelings. I've gained a ton of weight. I don't even want to talk about it. But during that time, like food really brought me comfort. So I ate a lot. And so what happened was over time of me just ignoring the symptoms, I realized that I could no longer function at that same pace. I needed to do something and I needed to do something fast. And so I just decided to shut everything down, take a break from filming videos, take a break from my shop and get centered and figure out what brings me joy, what brings me peace. So pretty much I took the time off to kind of get back to myself. Okay, so closing my shop, kind of. So um, basically by that, what I mean is I'm not going to restock any items anymore. I feel like that I spend most of my days just restocking items. 90% um, of the things that I sell at my shop are handmade. So obviously that is very time consuming. And I am a one woman workshop over here, you know, so it's just unrealistic for me to think that I can handle everything all of the time on top of juggling my family life, on top of juggling my YouTube. So technically I'm not gonna be closing my shop, but I will not be restocking items. So once I sell out of a certain item, um, that item will no longer be restocked. And another thing that I realized is that it was really stunting my creativity. I'm a very creative person. I like to create new things. And because I was just restocking and making the same things over and over again, it wasn't really bringing me any joy. I did. I wasn't getting any pleasure working at my desk from seven o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night to try to restock everything for everybody. So I believe I mentioned this before in a video and I never followed through on it where I'm gonna be considering my shop like a pop-up shop. So every once in a while, I'll just pop up, let you know, hey, I created this. It's a limited stock because everything is going to be limited stock, which means everything is limited edition. And that way I'm going to have more time, more time during my day, not feel as stressed. And at this season of my life, I really, really need that. During my time off, um, I did a lot of things, honestly. I got back into my Bible studies. I... Um, was able to read books again. That was something that I didn't even realize how much I missed to be able to sit on my front porch or in my backyard um, with a cup of coffee and reading a book. I had more family time, so we spent a lot of time playing board games and laughing and just being together. And it's just like simple little things that I missed, like going on walks. I know it sounds so stupid, but I didn't have any time to do anything. And if I did have time, I was just so exhausted that I couldn't be bothered. So what does this mean for my channel? 
absolutely nothing nothing is going to change i am still going to be creating and filming my cash stuffing videos that part of my life has never felt like um so much of a burden i really feel like it was the shop that was driving me nuts and honestly there is no amount of money in the world that is worth your mental peace So let's get into the good stuff. What are my finances looking like right now? Okay, so there have been a couple of changes. Um, I did rearrange and remove some categories in my binders. As you guys know, I spoke a lot about starting my journey into becoming a homeowner. So um, we should start looking in like another three months or so. And so because of that, I took all the money out from all of my binders and i decided to rearrange how i had everything allocated so it's kind of like starting all over again but not really and while everybody was having a great time filing their taxes and being excited for their returns bubba and i had to pay nearly six grand or maybe it was a little over six grand to uncle sam and if you know just a couple of months ago in january i think it was we paid out a couple of thousand dollars as well so and that in itself has been very stressful because i feel like i work really i mean you guys see i bust my behind to save and then it's like i save a certain amount and it's right out the door but honestly as frustrating as that can be what would be even more frustrating and stressful is not having had saved that money at all and trying to figure out how to make those payments so i am extremely grateful that we have the funds on hand to be able to make such large payments like that okay so as i said i rearranged um a lot of the money so the majority of the funds went towards home sweet home right now home sweet home is sitting at thirty thousand dollars so my idea behind that is that i want to put twenty thousand dollars down as my down payment and of course ten thousand for closing costs but that's not all right because i still gotta do the appraisal and i still gotta do inspections so i have to work on getting my emergency fund back up which is under five thousand dollars right now i believe i'm at forty six hundred and i have to get my savings up okay so let's just get right into the sinking funds update all right so this is what it is this is what it is looking like right now car maintenance has eight hundred dollars um christmas has fourteen hundred and i think i'm just gonna leave that like that like i'm not gonna add any more to it uh, miscellaneous right now is at zero my emergency fund is at 46 so we got to work on that holidays is at zero health is at 211 so we got to bring this up as well my necessities is at 30 bubs is at 30 as well the kids are at 395 um, my dog is at 53 birthdays is at 350 i want to get this up a little bit as well because jacob's birthday is next month my savings is only at 190 dollars, so we definitely got to work on getting this number up and home sweet home like i said is at thirty thousand, and back to school is at zero now with that being said i'm not going to be doing any challenges in fact i took all the money out of all of my challenges and reallocated it into all of this so right now as it stands i have thirty eight thousand fifty nine dollars but of course we have to keep working on these numbers and getting them up because if i do get a house these numbers are going to plummet so practically nothing so we can't have that so we're gonna get back to work and for all of you who um have been curious about bubba bubba is doing fine right now he did have to take a couple of weeks off of work which did affect us um but fortunately we were again financially prepared for that so um it all worked out but he's doing much better he's back at work he's been back at work for a little while now so I want to thank you guys for all your well wishes when it comes to Bubba. I also want to thank everybody who has reached out to me in my Instagram DMs. I am still going through messages. I really appreciate you guys being concerned, but everything is fine. I am okay. I feel like I'm in a much better place. I'm not going to say that I'm 100%, but I'm well on my way and I know that I have to really listen to my body and when my body's telling me listen things are not right i have to honor that and just pull back 
and i know that you guys understand that and the reason why i'm even bringing this up and telling you guys everything that i've been telling you guys is because i know there are a lot of people out there that suffer with anxiety and depression and it's a real thing and it can also feel really isolating and you can feel like very alone and you're not alone and i want you to know that and it doesn't last forever I have had so many bouts of anxiety and depression throughout my life. And the one thing that I've come away with is that it doesn't last. It might stick around for a few months, might stick around for a few weeks. I mean, it varies, but the point is, is that it doesn't stay. So if you're going through something, keep that in mind, be strong, you got this. Make sure that you listen to your body and do whatever it is that you feel like you have to do to heal. Okay, you guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to be filming a cash stuffing after this video. So regular cash stuffings are coming back, baby. So be on the lookout for that, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.